overwhelmed with all of the pressure to get the right gift this holiday season? question for you. Have you been overwhelmed with all of the pressure to get the right gift this holiday season? So y'all know what it is. It's December. It's time for one of the most popular holidays, which is Christmas. And we've seen ads all over the place, on social media, on TV. When we're walking out and about with different stores, we see all of these Christmas specials with different percentages off. We just had Black Friday. We just had Cyber Monday. And more and more deals keep popping up left and right. And it's just a lot of pressure of getting the perfect gift and also tapping on that wallet. Mm -hmm. And honestly, a lot of it comes from the emphasis that society has placed on getting material things, right? That value is based on how much money you're able to spend on a person to give them with versus the time that you spend with them or the other things that you do with them throughout the year right we just put all of this focus on material things so i was like let me come through and give everybody and myself a little reminder when it comes to gift giving a lot of times the people in your life really want your presence over your presence let me say that again let me say that again <laughs> No, but really, when it comes to you and your loved ones, the best things you can gift them with is your presence versus your presence. And also, that's going to involve keeping it real with them and letting them know, y'all, things are tight this year. The wallet just not looking like how it used to look or, you know, some things popped up and I ain't got it right now. Have those tough conversations like what we talked about a few weeks ago and keep it real. And this is when we can get a little creative and we can do things that may not necessarily involve money. We got ish around the house that we could whip up, give them some IOUs. Like if you really feel like if you have to physically gift them with something, think about how you can do that by using who you are. So if that means having a movie night, going over spending some time with the person you love or the people you love, if that means doing a little scrapbooking, right? And just putting some pictures together that you have, then that's what it is. But what I wanna encourage us all to do today is to let go of that overwhelming pressure to get the perfect gift. We don't have to give into the societal pressures and all of the things popping up in our faces that say, you need to buy this and you need to buy that. I wanna remind all of us that your value doesn't lessen because you're not in a position to purchase certain gifts for the people that you love. And it doesn't lessen your love for them because you're not in that position. And there are some people who may not understand that, right? And that's when we need to reevaluate our relationships with them, right? Or you may have children who are used to you gifting them things every year. That's when we can give some life lessons about things that come up as we continue aging. But there are so many other things that we can do that may not necessarily involve spending money. And that's what we do. And the best gift that you will ever be able to give is the gift of your presence. Because your presence means something to somebody. I gotta tell myself that. <laughs> I'm a gift. You a gift. You are a gift. You are someone who gives people with your presence, with your personality, with your sense of humor, with your dry humor. You bring value and you are a gift. And at the end of the day, if you're in a hard situation right now financially, where you just don't have the means to participate in all of these sales, cause y'all, they really not sales, <laughs> but participate in all of these sales and buy all of the things that we all wish we could do, right? To share and show our love, you can still 
share and show your love so let this be your reminder as we move through the month of december and as we continue aging so tell me what is one way you can shift your focus from extravagant gifts to creating more meaningful moments and experiences with the people you love let a girl know because i'm sitting up in my room waiting to hear from you